Hi guys. So today, 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 I'm going to do something simple with my hair. I'm just going to be flattening it out because last night I slept with this hair. Like I washed it last night and then in the morning time when I wake up, my hair kind of looks, actually it doesn't look that bad. However, it does not look combed. I don't want it curly today, so I want it flat. So what I'm gonna do, I got this flat iron like maybe seven, eight months ago when I first got separated with my ex and my life went crazy. And I got, I got this flat iron by BoxyCharm. I was supposed to go to New York. I didn't go to New York for this big event and I was so sad, but my life was sad at the moment. So I stopped, I didn't, I stopped my whole freaking life guys. So guys, if you want to see what flat iron I got, like six, seven months ago, that Foxy Charm actually was kind enough to send it to me. They sent me a whole entire box of things because I actually reached out to them and said, look, I'm not gonna go, I'm going through a divorce. And Foxy Charm was so nice and sent me all kinds of stuff. You guys know, if you're following me on Instagram, that I'm in love. I'm in love with you guys. I'm in love with Foxy Charm. I think is the best monthly subscription ever. You understand that's the only one that I have besides Luxury Scent, but BoxyCharm is like the makeup and I freaking makeup hair, you know, like the beauty. And what am I praying for? Ah. All right guys, so this is what I got from BoxyCharm and other stuff also when I wasn't able to go to the BoxyCharm first time in New York and I, didn't go because I was super depressed guys you don't understand like I went through some hell last year but anywho's moving on with the sad story so I got this curl iron in the box that boxy charm sent me and when I tell you guys it was not like a normal boxy charm box they sent me like this huge box of all kinds of stuff and this is one of the tools that they sent me in the box and of course I got this box in a huge box from boxy charm look how beautiful it is guys it's pink it's bro it's actually rose pink but it's pink i freaking love it you guys know my favorite color is pink and black so it's, I, it's either i'm wearing black which i don't have black on today by the, by the way guys the eyeshadow look that i have on right now i did record so i will be posting on my youtube channel it will be a voiceover because I didn't talk. I wanted to concentrate on my eyes. It's only going to be an eye tutorial and it's on this look. But anywho's, let's move on. Um, I'm going to take it out of the box and see how the cord is and all of that stuff. Right now, I'm just poking the crap out of my neck <laughs> with the box. All right, guys. So I plugged the flat iron in. I'm not really sure if I said the name, name of the flat iron. It's called PYT for Pretty Young Thing. If it was my flat iron, it would be called Pretty Old Thing, P-O-T. Because <laughs> oh I'm pretty old, guys. You guys know my age, right? Because I'll continue saying it because I'm pretty proud of my pretty proud of myself that I'm 42 years old and I'm still hanging in. Well, what am I supposed to do, die? <laughs> what the hell? You guys, I'm a little cuckoo. I'm 42, but I've lost my mind. I literally have lost my mind. I think that I'm like 21. I feel like I'm 21. I act like I'm 21, but I'm 42. So if this was my brand, it definitely would be called Pretty Old Thing. Okay, guys, so moving on. So the flat iron goes up to 450. You can bring it down a notch if you have like fine hair or your hair is over processed and you know that if you use 450, you are not gonna have hair, then you have an option with this flat iron. I love when they give you options. So it goes up to 450. I don't, th I don't think that any other flat iron goes up higher. I don't think so. I could be wrong, but that's super dangerous. So I love that it does have in here, like you can bring it down or up. So if your hair is weak, bring it down a notch, okay? And guys, before you start flat ironing your hair, please, please put some kind of protector. Now I always use chi because I like chi, but there's some people that don't like chi. That's fine, use whatever you have because you need to protect that hair. The hair has to be dry, guys. You cannot start from scratch, get out of the shower, your hair is wet, and start flat ironing your hair. 
oh my god that's the worst thing in the world unless there is a flat iron that you can start with your hair wet but you need to read the flat iron i forget one of my co-workers years ago bought it and it worked very well but if you have a flat iron that is just for dry hair a normal flat iron do not flat iron your hair when it's wet, damp. It needs to be totally dry, okay? So when you put your chi on or a heat protector, it is gonna wet your hair a bit, so let it dry a bit before you start flat and iron your hair. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on the bottom and each section I'll just put some of the chi so I'll make sure that I'm getting every section as I go. All right guys, so the section doesn't have to be too thin. Um, I mean, if you have really thick hair, then thin it out. Make sure, because the thicker the hair is, the less it looks flat. My hair is um, not, I wouldn't say fine, but it is thinner than the norm. I have a lot of thin hair, if that makes sense. I have been using Nioxin, guys, and my hair has been getting thicker. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, then you saw my first process of the shampoo, like the whole, the seven weeks that I've been using it. Now it's been like maybe 14 weeks to maybe a little longer. So maybe I will do a tutorial on here. Um, and then you guys can follow up for my first seven weeks onto, into my Instagram. Does that make sense? If you notice, I took this section out, I thought it was a little bit too thick, so I just took it out. And you see this, the flat iron is gonna flatten out. And you see the smoke, don't worry, that is just what happens when you have product in your hair. Any flat iron or curling iron is gonna do that to the hair because it does have product in it, but don't worry, the hair is not burning at all. Look at that, look how smooth, wow. I mean, you guys, there are some flat irons that really do not flatten your hair. I wish that I had curly hair so I can show you guys if it works for curly hair girls. All right, guys, I'm gonna take another section. I'm just gonna use my um, pointing fingers and section the hair out. Again, guys, my hair is not really thick. I have a, I have fine, a lot of fine hair. Uh, but it's not really thick at all. So this is probably gonna take me like seven, eight minutes to do. I'm sure somebody that has curlier hair is gonna take them longer. Longer hair also takes longer. But, uh, and it is tedious, but, um, but by the end it looks really nice. At least for me, I don't think that you should do this every day at all. You don't want, no matter what, it's still heat in your hair, so you don't wanna fly on your hair every single day. So make sure that you give your hair a break. Make sure that you trim your hair every four to six weeks. Make sure you put treatments in your hair because heat is, is harsh on your hair. So make sure that when you are putting heat in hair, like blow drying your hair, curling on your hair, flatten on your hair, you're putting some kind of protection in it and you're not doing it every day, guys. This is just like if you're going out, there's an occasion. You don't want to do this every day. Most of the time, I put my hair back in a bun and put a treatment in it. Usually what is in the bun is in the treatment. Okay, so the next um, next sections, I'm going to um, just be quiet because it's gonna take longer. I don't want it to be too long. And so you guys can just see. And make sure that the treatment is nice and dry before you start flat ironing because it's still wet and you don't want to do that. I think I said that already, but if I didn't, uh, make sure that when you spray it on, your hair is dry before you start flat and iron, okay? Okay, and it doesn't have to be this. And I know that I said that already, but I'll say it again. It's, it's crucial because some people message me and say, you know, I don't like chi. There's so many heat protectors, it doesn't have to be chi. I totally understand. It's just for whatever reason, chi works for me. So I'll continue getting it because I like it. Oh. You guys, I'm gonna let this piece dry because it's a little still wet and I wanna let you guys know that I have something huge coming up and I am super, super excited to let you guys know soon enough, like two to three weeks from now. You guys, this is gonna change my life for the better and I cannot wait to let you guys know. It's gonna be a small process because any business does take time, 
but oh yes it is a business so but I cannot wait to be able to let you guys know that I'm pushing forward towards a business um, so yeah any who's you guys I will keep you guys posted I am super excited I'm blessed um, it, I've always said that in order to have a business or make a business out of something that you enjoy and love to do, you need a team. And I thank God that I found a team that is willing to help me out. And I hope that everything kind of flows the way that I have envisioned and my team also has envisioned. So just pray that everything will work out because if it does you guys are going to be totally included um, and my world is definitely going to change for the better i've always wanted this for so long i just didn't have support and now i have people people that want to see me succeed and it's helping and are helping me out, which I'm super humble about and super happy. Anyways, guys, let me just get back to my hair, but just know that I'm not here just because. I'm here for the long run. I said in my last video, I have a knowledge to be able to give to you guys and show you guys. And if this works out, you know, it's just gonna expand my brand a little bit more. So please, Please, you know, kind of keep an eye on, on what I'm doing. And yeah, I'm super, super, super excited. So anyways, let me go back to this. And then, yeah, just I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm, there's just great, great future plans. All right, guys, so the flat iron did what it's supposed to do. It does get really warm. Be careful if you have fine over processed um, hair because we don't want to fuck your hair up, okay? Make sure you put some kind of um, heat guard on it. It can be any type of heat guard, whatever works for you, but please put a heat guard in and do not flat iron your hair every day. It's not good for your hair. And, and make sure that you get haircuts or hair trims every four to six weeks to keep that hair growing. If you don't understand why you gotta get a trim for the hair to keep growing, because I know people are like, wait a minute, like the hair grows from here why is the hair like you need a trim for it to go from here well it will still keep growing however you'll keep getting split ends and it'll keep breaking and if it keeps breaking in your eyes it's not really growing because it keeps breaking so that's the reason why you get trims so your hair will keep growing healthy so you don't have split ends and it don't keep splitting and so when the hair keeps growing it looks up okay so that's why every four to six weeks you need a haircut you need a haircut there's no way around if you want healthy looking hair you every four to six weeks need a haircut but anywho let's just talk about what i think about the flat iron it did what it's supposed to do i mean i do have pretty healthy hair it is finer so i gotta ease up with when i'm going to flat iron my hair i love the color of it i love the name but like i mentioned earlier if it was in my name it would be pretty old so p-o-t pretty old thing <laughs> so guys i hope that you guys enjoyed this really short little video tutorial a little bit of um insight with hair and why you should get trims and why you should put um a heat guard on and why you shouldn't flat iron your hair when it's wet did i even say that never ever flatten your hair when your hair is wet so when you get out the shower you need to let the hair dry fully dry before you start using a flat iron Otherwise, you're going to cinch the crap out of your hair. And we don't want that. We want nice, pretty, shiny hair. But again, don't do it every day. It's no good. And, and not just a flat iron. Curl it out or blow dry and just give your hair a break. Just like you give your face a break, give your hair a break. I love you guys so much. I miss you guys so much. I can't wait to the future and um, be with you guys forever until like 80 years old. Yeah, I love you guys. Bye, guys.